do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends so let's start with problem number 1 which is based on evaluation of integral over the given region so guys here we will be having function and we have to integrate or i would say double integrate this given function with respect to some variable and here will be given the curves so what we have to do is we have to draw the curves and get that common region and for that we have to find out the limits and evaluate the integration so let's see how to solve such type of examples so now here we have double integral x y dx dy over the region r where r is the region bounded by the parabola as y square equal to 4 ax and x square equal to 4 ay so guys now it is straight forward given that these are the parabolas but let me tell you that we have studied in 11 12 standard that y square equal to 4 ax is a standard equation of parabola opening towards right because x is positive so how to identify this so guys always remember in parabola you have one term as a square term and the other term as a power one term so what you have to do is since this x is a positive so on the coordinate axis it will open towards the positive x side let's say tomorrow it is negative then it will open towards the negative x side next here we have x square equal to 4 ay so we'll never see the square term we'll see this term so this is positive y so it will open upwards and if it is negative y it will open downwards so you have to remember accordingly so guys if i have to evaluate this then what we have to do is the one thing is we have to draw this parabolas we have to find out a common region because it is given that that region is bounded by the parabola now what does it mean so whatever is our region it should be covered or the bounded by this given curves so the boundaries of that region must be this curves so we we'll find out that region and from that region we'll find out the limits and then we'll evaluate the integral so let's start so what i'll do is here i'll draw the curve now guys this is the parabola opening towards right so So guys here I have drawn both the parabolas so remember in exam you have to draw this curve as a free hand drawing now if you will see this then this is a region which is bounded by two parabolas so this side of the region or this boundary of the region is a parabola y square equal to 4ax and this boundary of a region is x square equal to 4ay now guys we have to integrate this in uh, this given function over this region so what we'll do so we have studied in the first video that uh, how to evaluate double integral so in that i have shown you that whenever we have the region we take a strip either parallel to x axis or parallel to y axis so same thing i'll use here so what we'll do here is i will take a strip which is parallel to x axis so let's assume that this is that strip now guys this strip now we'll find out the end points of a strip so the end point here these are the two end points so since the strip is parallel to x axis we'll find out the end points in terms of x so x equal to let's see what we get so this is a curve which is x square equal to 4ay so if i find x so x will be root on both sides so 2 root of ay so 2 square root of ay similarly this point or this end of a strip lies on the curve y square equal to 4 ax so from here we'll get x as y square by 4a so here i'll write x is equal to y square upon 4a now guys this strip will move over the region so it will move horizontally so that it will cover the whole region so remember that this strip is a flexible strip so just imagine that this strip is moving vertically and it is covering all the region so 
it is going from this part to this part so what we have to do is when the strip will move vertically we have to observe the end points of the region so let's say if this strip is going upwards then what is the last point where it will go and if it is going downwards what is the last point it will go so this strip if it is going upwards then it will go till this point and when it is coming downwards it will come till this point because this is what are the boundaries of our region so we are not going to consider the points which are outside the region so this is a point these two are the points where our strip will reach or these are the end points of our region so what we'll do is guys we'll find out the coordinates of these points now if you'll observe then these two points are the points of intersection of these two parabolas so guys we have to find out the point of intersection for these two parabola now the question is how do we find out the point of intersection so it's simple we substitute equation of one curve in other curve to get the point of intersection so here we have y square equal to 4ax so, so from here we'll get x as y square by 4a i'll put that value of x in this curve so we will get x that is y square by 4a and here we have x square so i'll do the square is equal to 4ay so what i did is i have substituted value of x from this curve in the second curve now let's solve this so the here we'll get y raised to 4 in denominator we'll get 16 a square which will go on the right hand side and it will multiply this 4a so 16 a square into 4 a is 64 a cube into y now we'll take it on the left hand side we'll get y raised to 4 minus 64 a cube y is equal to 0 now guys we'll take y common so we'll get y cube minus 64 a cube is equal to 0 now guys what happens in this case i'll tell you the common mistake that is made by the students what they do is they take the 64 a cube y on the rhs they make it positive and they cancel y and y so it becomes y cube is equal to 64 a cube so guys my suggestion is do not cancel any variable because we are trying to find out points of intersection so try to find out maximum point of intersection as you can see here that there are two points of intersection so let's say if i take this on the right hand side and if i cancel y and y so we'll get y cube is equal to 64 a cube and therefore we'll get y equal to 4a it means we'll get only one point of intersection so if you want to get maximum point of intersection then don't cancel y so that is why what i did is i have kept this 64 a cube y on the left hand side i've taken y common and i got this equation so, so from here we can say that therefore y is equal to 0 or y cube minus 64 a cube is 0 so which is y cube is equal to 64 a cube and taking cube root on both sides will get y is equal to 4 a so guys here we got two values of y 0 and 4 a, and you can easily observe from here that at this point y is 0 and at this point y is 4a so if y is 4a let's find out the value of x so i'll put this value of y in any of the curves so if i put that value of y over here so we'll get 0 equal to 4ax so 4a will go here and x will be 0 so here i'll write for y equal to 0 x is equal to 0 next if y is equal to 4a if i put it here we'll get 4a square which is 16a square 16a square upon 4a will be 4a therefore x will be 4a so guys we'll get point of intersection as 0 comma 0 and 4a comma 4a so this is 0 comma 0 and this point is here i'll write 4a comma 4a so it means our strip will move from 0 to 4a so just imagine that this strip is moving vertically so it will move from 0 to 4a so guys here i got the limits so for x i got this limit and for y i got 0 to 4a now guys how to write this so the normal convention is whenever we have a strip which is horizontal then take the limits from left to right because you can see that when we are here 
the value of x is less and when we go to the RHS the value of x increases so go from lesser to higher so how I'll write so here I'll say i is equal to double integral x is equal to y square by 4a to 2 root of a y so what I did is I took this as the lower limit and this one as the upper limit now as we have taken the x coordinate now we'll take the y coordinate here so here the y coordinate is 0 here it is 4a so we'll say that y is changing from 0 to 4a so guys again observe one thing that in the coordinate system the value of y increases as we go up on the y-axis so that is why I always take value from down to up so I have taken from 0 to 4a so this is just a hint because many students get confused that should we take 4a to 0 or 0 to 4a so these are the convention now as we have taken the x limits and y limits so one more thing guys since we are taking a strip which is parallel to x-axis so what we will do is we'll integrate this integration with respect to x first so rule is if you are taking a strip parallel to x-axis you have to integrate with respect to x first or if you are taking a strip parallel to y-axis then you should integrate with respect to y first so i've already explained this in my first video of how to evaluate double integral so if you have not revised it then i would request you to go back and revise it once again so let's move ahead so guys here the function is xy and here we will write dx dy. Now why dx? The reason is we have taken a strip which is parallel to x axis. Hence the integration will be with respect to x first and then with respect to y. So let's start. So since I am integrating with respect to x, y is constant. So here I will write y is from 0 to 4a. I'll take this y outside and in the integration only x will remain the integration of x is x square upon 2 here I'll write it is x square by 2 and the limit is from y square by 4a till 2 root of a y dy next this 2 in the denominator will take it outside so 1 upon 2 outside integration 0 to 4a next we will put these limits in x square because we have already taken 1 by 2 outside so if I put this so square of this will be 4ay so here we will get 4ay then middle sign is minus and now we will put the lower limit if I substitute lower limit lower limit is this the square of this because this is a value of x so square of this will be y raised to 4 upon 16a square so that is the value into dy so now this is the value that we got and with this we also have one more y which we have taken outside so i'll write down that y over here so now guys let's multiply this value with y and then let's integrate with respect to y so here we'll get i equal to 1 by 2 integration 0 to 4a now when this y will multiply 4a y will get 4a y square and here we'll get y to the power 5 so 4a y square minus y to the power 5 upon 16a square into dy now guys we will integrate these two terms so we will get half 4a as it is or it's a constant we will take it outside for y square we will get y cube upon 3 minus 1 upon 16a square is a constant for y raised to 5 we will get y raised to 6 upon 6 from 0 to 4a now let's substitute the upper and lower limit so here we will get half 4a upon 3 as it is here the 4a the whole cube so 4a whole cube is 64 
a cube 64 a cube into 4 a is 256 a to the power 4 upon 3 here we have 1 upon 16 a square now here we'll put this as 4 a raised to 6 so here i'll write 4 a raised to 6 upon 6 next middle sign minus and if we put 0 will get all terms as 0 so we will not take it now guys let's simplify this so here we will get half in bracket we will get 256 a raised to 4 by 3 minus now here we can cancel a square and a square so here we will get a raised to 4 next 16 is 4 square and in the numerator we have 4 raised to 6 so 4 square and 4 square cancel so 4 raised to 4 will remain in the numerator so 4 raised to 4 is 256 upon 6 as it is. Next, here we can take 256 common outside, a raised to 4 outside and 3 outside. So we will get 256 a raised to 4 upon 3 outside. So 256 a raised to 4 upon 3 and already we have 2 so 3 into 2 is 6 now let's see what remains in bracket so from here 1 will remain minus from here 1 upon 2 will remain because we have taken 1 upon 3 outside now guys let's simplify this so here i'll divide these two numbers by 2 so we will get 128 a raised to 4 upon 3 and this will be 1 by 2 and in the end we will get 64 a raised to 4 upon 3 so therefore the value of integration is 64 a raised to 4 upon 3 so guys here we have evaluated this integration over the given region so i'm sure you understood how I've taken the curve, how I've, how I've taken the limits and how we got the solution for the integral. So guys, just follow this step and you can get the answer in the examination. Thank you very much for watching the videos.